The last line in Foucault's 1966 The Order of Things states that man will disappear like a face drawn in the sand at the edge of the sea. The book and the announcement of the death of man turn Foucault into a celebrity in the late 60s. Foucault is not talking about a literal dying out of mankind. What he means is that a certain way in which man talks about himself will disappear. Namely, the story about man as a rational being, the center of the world. Man who makes progress both in the area of reason and in morality. According to Foucault, this idea of mankind is ending. Foucault holds that man has no authentic core, but is constructed in the same way as an onion. If you peel back the layers one by one, looking for the core, you find that the core is empty. The onion consists only of its layers. Similarly, man becomes who he is because of the structures he functions in and belongs to. Language, history, society. Foucault analyzes how man has spoken and has been spoken about over the centuries. He looks at various areas such as sexuality, psychiatry and the prison system. He concludes that every era has its own discourse, that people cannot express everything, but that their self-awareness is bound by language. Foucault shows that history has not perfected our knowledge. We think, for instance, that modern prisons are far better than the old system of corporal punishment. But according to Foucault, the modern age centers on excessive control over man and his body. This is visible in the way modern prisons are constructed. They are panopticons. The prisoner can always be seen. Truth and rationality are not the promises of progress, but weapons of oppression, ways to discipline man and his body. Thinking about the good life is in Foucault's thinking determined by rights and duties, commercialization, medicalization and other forms of disciplining. During the last years of his life, Foucault examines the possibilities of countering this with something he calls self-care. How can we shape our own existence? Why would we not all turn our lives in a work of art? But then alive, creating and recreating. Always open to change and renewal. A way to resist a disciplining power. Because of his premature death to AIDS in 1984, Foucault's work remained unfinished.